in the occupied West Bank, a twisted version of a British street party to mark the 100-year legacy of the Balfour Declaration. It's the work of street artist Banksy outside his Bethlehem Hotel. The guests of honor, Palestinian children from nearby refugee camps and Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, sort of. Sort of saying sorry. Lord Balfour's letter supported the national aspirations of a people who'd suffered discrimination and violence for hundreds of years. The wording of the declaration contained a disparity that's borne bitter fruit in the hundred years since, promising a national home for the then and future Jewish immigrants, while only safeguarding or committing to the civil and religious rights of the non-Jews who lived in Palestine at the time, 90% of the population. On the other side of the separation barrier, students and academics at Hebrew University debate its consequences. It was one among many, and indeed a very important step or declaration, but nevertheless what happened on the ground was even more important. What happened on the ground happened under the authority of the British mandate, which began a year after the declaration. In centres like Jaffa, Palestinian economic and cultural life emerging from Ottoman rule was beginning to flourish. At the same time, Jewish immigration accelerated. The Zionist project, already underway, now had the support of a major nation. As a Jew, this is the beginning of Israel, and also the beginning of the recognition of Israel by the world. The Balfour Declaration deprived many of their properties, and I'm one of them. I'm a refugee. I live in Shufat refugee camp. I can't go back to my original village. By the 1940s, Britain, worried about a forcible creation of a Jewish state, was attempting to hold back Jewish immigration. Now the Zionists targeted the British. 91 people were killed in the bombing of Mandate headquarters at Jerusalem's King David Hotel. Post-Holocaust, global sympathy for the Jewish cause surged, and in 1948, when the British withdrew, the State of Israel was declared. For Palestinians, that moment is remembered as the Nakba, or catastrophe, when hundreds of thousands of people lost their homes and land. Students at Berzeit University in the occupied West Bank say it all began with Balfour. We won't settle for an apology. Return what you made us lose, then we'll accept the apology. And in Bethlehem, Palestinian protesters weren't settling for a British commemoration, no matter how satirical. For them, the century since the Balfour Declaration has been one of displacement, dispossession and occupation. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, Bethlehem, in the occupied West Bank.